welcome to microbial concepts so today let's study how to select a pleat with countable number of colonies okay so this is very basic in microbiology and you should know this because we deal with different experiments uh, for example like in case of standard plate count we do serial dilutions then we perform spread plate or pore plate technique we incubate our plates and we end up with different plates with different number of colonies growing on it and then we get confused that which plate I should select for my uh, calculations so let's see so let's just revise what is CFU per ml because this is this is what we are dealing here so CFU it stands for colony forming units okay so colony forming units per ml right we write it as CFU in capital per ml so it is used to quantify the number of viable organisms such as bacteria or yeast which are present in a liquid sample why because we are using the unit milliliters that means we are dealing with the liquid samples the term colony forming unit it refers to a single microorganism that is capable of forming a visible colony when cultured under specific condition that means we know that a single bacterial cell upon multiplication and growth it uh, multiplies so many times that it uh, produces uh, millions of cell okay now these all millions of cell they form a colony and that is what we observe on our media plate now remember that all the cells in a colony they have same characteristics okay and that's the reason why we count a single colony okay we don't count the number of bacteria present in a colony we count a colony and we assume that it is a pure colony or we can say it is a pure culture of a single bacterial uh, cell so where we need this so we perform different experiments where we need to find out the microbial load which is uh, present in a given sample so we perform experiments like say standard plate count microbial uh, inhibitory concentration MIC microbial limit test or environmental monitoring in QC okay so these are the experiments where we perform serial dilution and then we plate out the dilutions or say by spread plate or pore plate technique and after incubation we report our results so for example this is the uh, spread plate technique you have used and these are the plates so you can see 10 raised to minus 1 plate 10 raised to minus 2, 10 raised to minus 3, and 10 raised to minus 4 plate. So the microbial load is decreasing in each uh, dilution. So how to report the result properly? So most of the textbooks and manual labs, they typically recommend using plates that yield somewhere between 300 to, uh, sorry, 30 to 300 colonies, okay, or some similar range not too few colonies and that the count may not be accurate okay not too many colonies because it is difficult as well as time consuming to distinguish each individual colony on the plate this is what i can explain you by using this picture here too few colonies it can denote that you have gone wrong while say performing your spread plate okay or while pipetting out 0.1 ml okay so it can happen that this is not a accurate result then too many colonies okay too, num too, too numerous to count t and tc it means too numerous to count and tftc means too few to count so too many colonies it is very difficult as well as time consuming to count so many colonies which are growing near to each other right and as they are growing near to each other it is difficult to distinguish each individual colony on a plate that's the reason why we report the dilution plate as TNTC for 10 raised to minus 1 TNTC for 10 raised to minus 2 and TFTC for 10 raised to minus 4 now you can see hardly I can count here like five colonies okay but 
I think the 10 raised to minus 3 plate is between the range 30 to 300 colonies and this is the plate that is countable all the colonies are well isolated I can distinguish the colonies and I can count them properly so the answer is 10 raised to minus 3 plate here and I can count around 50 to 54 CFU that is colony forming units per ml so this is the plate that I, I will select for my further calculations okay so this is how you select your plate for your calculations for different experiments that you perform so don't get confused that I should go for this plate or this plate okay you should remember the range is 330 to 300 okay so less than uh, less than or equal to 30 so can't give a statistically significant answer to your question that means if you have a question like calculate the um, original microbial load in the original sample or the stock sample then you cannot uh, statistically uh, calculate and give a significant answer okay then more than or equal to 300 thus it is difficult and time consuming to count them and you can't get accurate result here also okay thus your answer is 10 raised to minus 3 in this case right so I hope now it is clear to you how to select a plate with countable number of colonies. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.